when uh, the idea of creating a centre in UK was uh, put on the table, I thought about climate, that climate was something which was more and more on the front page. I wrote a proposal to uh, create basically the ESA Climate Office. For uh, 20 years I worked on uh, data quality, on product quality, on uh, sensor performance. Climate is uh, that context, is taking again all the data we've been acquired over the past uh, 30 years and to reassess the quality of this data, to improve the quality of this data in order to create a climate data sets uh, which are uniform, homogeneous over the uh, long time series. I studied oceanography in Brest and it happened that I did a lot of programming when I was young just because my dad was a director of an informatics centre. That in fact completely changed my life. So I moved completely from a very practical uh, aspect, uh, going to the sea, to uh, more uh, satellite uh, aspects. At the end of my studies, uh, it was the time ESA was preparing the launch of ERS-1 at the time. In Brest, they created a center called the CERSAT to process and archive ERS-1 data. Part of that group, I wrote software, which is the processing for the scatterometer data, which was on board ERS-1, and I sold, well, my company sold the software to ESA. Progressively, I took the responsibility for the whole calibration, validation, sensor performance, uh, in-flight uh, performance, for the, the, the whole uh, ERS-1, then uh, ERS-2, then NVSAT uh, missions. I also worked a lot in the international context, in the uh, CEOs, the um, Committee of Earth Observation Satellites, and uh, I was chair of the working group on calibration and validation of that uh, committee. And that also brought all the activities we were doing in ESA into the international context. Now, uh, I am a uh, bon, program manager for the Climate Change Initiative program and also responsible for the Climate Office. That's a group of eight people today. We have created a European Climate Science Community. There is a kind of concentration around Oxford with this centre in particular. It creates a lot of synergy and a lot of possibilities. That goes from very technical aspects to commercial aspects. The activities uh, we are doing in the uh, Climate Office on the Climate Change Initiative programme are basically the, the R&D, the research and development aspects, which are needed then by the, the Copernicus Climate Change Service. The three together, the Copernicus Climate Change Service, the CCI and the Climate SAF uh, from UMEDSAT, are the three pillars of the climate activities in, uh, in Europe. Mm -hmm.